The other day, I was slapped with a ticket for not having a rear tail light working on my car. And unfortunately, I was not insured at the time either. What is Objectivism's view on road ownership and mandatory auto insurance? Well, of course, we believe that there should only be the three branches of government uh, that Ayn Rand discusses, and that roads should be private the same way as schools and hospitals, etc. You should be able to, pr practically, there would be no trouble with this. It could be tolls, it could be electronic ramps, there's all kinds of possibilities, and you would certainly have something infinitely easier to travel than uh, the public roads that we have today if you live uh, in California as an example. In that case, the owners would set the rules, whatever rules they choose uh, on their uh, road, just like whatever rules they choose on their schools, including whether or not insurance is mandatory. Now, if they set bad rules so the roads are unsafe, or you're at the mercy of people who don't have, uh, uh, you know, insurance, obviously competition will spring up, and they know it will. So they have every incentive to make the road safe and to make your journey as costless uh, as possible. So insurance is, in that sense, a very good idea. Now today, unfortunately, the government owns almost uh, all the roads. But it still remains the case that we need rules uh, and including uh, insurance to protect you uh, from deadbeats. So uh, I would say we have to comply with the rules uh, at this time, and he was right to ticket you. Even if ideally it should be a private ticketer, you still did uh, things that should be ticketed for. So I'm on the policeman's side, even though I'm sure he's not on my side uh, philosophically. <laughs>